In this video, I want to talk about how you can become better at letting things go. This is something that really can help a lot of men out there if they want to become the best versions of themselves and really let go of any stressors or things that might be holding them back to making that type of progress. So I want to share this in this video to give you some insight. So let's get into it. What's going on, man? Welcome back to the Sophisticated Man YouTube channel. I am Tina Regano, men's development coach. Make sure you hit subscribe for more men's improvement content. So the act of letting things go. This one is something that I currently am dealing with and has been one of the hardest things that I personally have had to do. And I know because of the person that I am, being able to let things go and just let them play out naturally is very hard for me to do and probably hard for you if you're watching this video. It's up a saying that I always have to repeat to myself um, when I notice that that's happening. It's like anything that you're chasing, the other thing is always running away. Rewind that back, hear it again. Anything that you're chasing, the other thing is always seeming to be running away. And that is with women, that is with a job, that's with a skill set you're trying to learn, that's with um, an opportunity you're trying to seize. If you ever notice that when you really want that thing and you're really like trying to force it to happen, you're trying to just control how the outcome happens, it ends up not going the way that you want it to. So I found the best thing that you can do is really to hope for the best, but not expect anything. And I've noticed that for really everything I've done in my life where I was chasing something. I'll use this in dating, for example. Every time I've ever chased a girl and like tried to lock her down, force her to be my girlfriend, or like really try to make something happen, it just never worked. It was going against just the natural process of a relationship and it like just ended up blowing up in my face because I was really trying to make it happen. I was chasing so hard that the girl was naturally running away, literally. I will tell you a quick story because this is funny and it, it very much relates to this situation. I remember one time when I was in college, I think we were on a, like a break for that week and we weren't really talking to each other, but I really wanted to make it happen. I really wanted to talk to her again, get back on good terms. I think we were fighting or something like that and I really wanted it to just work out with this girl. I was walking out of class one day and I saw her walk out of the door. I'm thinking to myself, okay, there she is. Here's my chance to go talk to her, to go mend things and make make everything good again, right? That's what my, my immature mindset was. And I saw her walking and she noticed me. So she started walking a little bit faster. And then she turns around and literally just stops in place and stares at me. We're about, I don't know, maybe 20 feet apart looking at each other and I'm like, Okay, what's about to happen here? I don't, I don't know what's going on. So she starts backing up, right? And I said, oh fuck, here we go. Then she starts running the other way, literally running away from me. So what does my dumbass do? Go chasing after her, literally physically running after her. So for about 10 minutes or so, I am literally running and chasing this girl, literally chasing this girl all over the parking lot in my university, looking like a complete asshole. How do you think that whole relationship ended? Yeah, it didn't end too well. <laughs> and you would think that logically, okay, if I'm a guy that like always puts in the action, I have my hands on the steering wheel at all times, then it's gonna go exactly the way I want it to, it's gonna be exactly how I planned it to be. The fact that you're so hands-on and so locked into the outcome is what's messing you up from actually getting a result in life. And that is the key that I want you to take away. You have to be outcome independent. I'm not telling you to be passive and just let things happen and just, oh, well, I'm gonna let it go. You have to put in some action, but once you're done with that action, let it be what it's supposed to be, which is kind of a, a weird thing talking about masculinity because we're all about go, 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 move, 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 build, build, which I'm 100% agreeing with. But it's also that natural feminine side to masculinity or to life in general. Life, life, mother nature is very feminine. You have to let it go. I was just watching a video on Instagram and it reminded me of that one image where you're holding on to a rope. And if you hold too tightly, you're squeezing it, you're damaging yourself and probably the, the rope or you know the metaphorical rope, the situation or the person that you're holding on to. But if, you lie, if you're too loose with your grip, then it's completely out of your reach. You have no chance. That means basically you're not taking any action. But if you just have a comfortable grip, you're putting in action, you're doing what you have to do, but you're letting things play out the way that they're supposed to play out. Sure, you have a, a goal, for example, or something that you want, a desired outcome, but don't be so attached to that outcome. Let it be what it's supposed to be. Well, you can apply that with literally every single thing in your life, with relationships, with 
career, with your income, with your development as a man. You have to be in control of what you can control, but the rest of it, you have to be okay with letting it go, letting it be. It's very interesting, it's very nuanced way of thinking. It's something that I just started adopting um, in my mindset and in my life because sometimes I'm very much, I want it to be this way, I need it to be this way. I'm very rigid, very strict with my thinking, which can be a good thing sometimes because you need obviously structure. Men need this, um, these guidelines and these boundaries, but you have to be open enough to let things play out naturally. You're not chasing the outcome. You're not chasing something. You're letting it be. You're letting it go. And most of the time when that happens, I've always noticed when I've let go, which is very hard for me to do, things come back to me or I end up getting the result that is probably better than I expected sometimes. So I hope this message finds you well. I don't know exactly the correct answer for this, but it's something I'm definitely learning. If you have too much of a grip on something and you're too outcome dependent, typically it doesn't work out in your favor. So if you like that video, give it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I'm open to discussion. And let me know what, what topic, subjects you want me to cover on this, on this channel in future videos. I appreciate all of your feedback. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. If you want to join a community of like-minded men who are all focused on their personal development, they're all trying to get better, they're all holding each other accountable in a Facebook community to become the most confident, fulfilled, and attractive versions of themselves, click the link down below to join my free Facebook community. And if you want to work with me personally, right now I offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching where I help you build structure as a man. I help you really create your schedule, create routines, build positive habits, take action and be held accountable to the actions that you're taking. With improving confidence in anything involving manhood, lifestyle, and relationships, click the link down below to apply for a free discovery call. Right now I'm accepting clients and I can't wait to work with you. So that's the video, man. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you gained value from it. Understand that the key is to really learn how to let go properly. You can't be so tied to every single outcome. Detachment is the key. You have to let go and let it be sometimes. Anything that you're gonna be chasing in life, success, women, friends, anything, connections. The other thing generally is running away if you're always actively chasing. Put in the action, but then learn how to let go. It's a delicate balance, man, I know, and I'm still trying to figure this out myself. But I wanted to share this message because I think it's important and it's something I think guys need to understand. So it's kind of a reminder for me too, like a lot of these videos are. So with that being said, man, have an awesome rest of your day. Remember, everything truly does start with you. You want some more videos about men's improvement? Click the videos right here. Peace out, man.